Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. If you don't know what that is, 25 projects coming out to you, five a week for five weeks and this is the final week so we're on to, oh, number 21 and I have got a lidded box for you today. Uh, I just thought it would be a little bit different, a little bit fun. Um, I've got a new camera set up and I think I'm just a smidge too close. So let me just zoom it out a little bit. That's a bit better. So yeah, this is our box today. Lovely, jingly. That's going to bring cats running. I'm absolutely sure of it. They've already chased this around the office a couple of times. But just a nice, simple box. Great for a guy. And I've got a lot of men in my, my family. Four sons, one husband. Okay, so for the base, you need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 by 8 inches, 20 by 20 centimetres, and super duper easy. Just score it at two inches on all four sides, which is five centimetres on all four sides. Super duper easy. So this one is Cherry Cobbler. I went with Knight of Navy on this one. But Cherry Cobbler is my very favourite stamp up colour. So I'm very pleased it's come out at Christmas time. Okay, and then the lid, I've got the uh, wrapped in plaid paper, which is just divine. I love the gold in it. I love all of the checks, the tartans glorious so keep it as a full sheet if you work in imperial so six by six inches if you are metric take it down to 15 by 15 centimeters so you're just taking off a little smidge and then you're going to score it at one inch on all four sides but just move it away from the edge nowhere near that much but just just a little bit or if you want to create a shim put your piece of cardstock up on the left hand side and that will bring it out enough so you'll know that you've got plenty. Sorry, my bracelet's a bit jangly today. Okay, so one inch, two and a half centimetres on all four sides. So have you enjoyed Google Sad Bank Countdown? I'm very excited. This, um, I've enjoyed doing my series a week, uh, a lot different to how I have previously done them. Um, in the past, I've done them two a week for 12 weeks in um, running up to and including Christmas. But it's kind of felt that I've actually only done 24 or 25 Christmassy projects. And actually, I want to do more than that because I am the Christmas fairy. So that's why it's come out earlier this year. And it's all in one go. And then that means for October, November and December, I can still continue to put Christmas projects out as well as all the other projects that I do. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a long pair of scissors. So I'm gonna work on the base because you'll see that better. And what I do on the base, you're gonna do on the outside as well. This still feels it's a little bit close. I just wanna zoom out just a tiny bit. That's better. Okay. So yeah, I've got, I've changed my camera. There we go. So cut that and then rotate and just keep doing the same all the way around. So new camera, uh, went to YouTube space um, last week and got some advice off them. And one of the things, I'd had this camera for probably about four years, just never had time to work out how to film with it. And they gave me some really good advice on what to do, what to set up. They were, they said that my um, lighting setup was great. So I'm gonna repeat the same on this. And, oh, can, I don't know if you can see, can you see that? <laughs> that is completely curled. I am actually simply gonna drop them in my bin because there's no fixing those. And this doesn't look the sharpest tip either. Um, yeah, so I have, it's a different camera that will autofocus. It will mean that when I've come and zoomed in um, and I zoom back out again, the camera won't crash and all of that stuff. So probably this week I'm going to have fun working out all of the idiosyncrasies with this camera. There we go. Right, sweep them onto the floor. So that's done. All is the same. So I'm going to grab some tear and tape. Would you believe Berry got on my desk the other day and she actually stole my tear and tape? What she thought she was going to do with it, I've no idea. 
But Berry is my Bengal. I have three breeds of cats. I have Berry, who's a Bengal, Sorrel, who is a Savannah, and then my old lady, Fennel, who's been around for a long time. She's 15 and a half, and she is a Burmese. But Berry spends all of her, I'd say waking hours, but actually that would be her sleeping hours in my office. I have three beds for them in here and she's the one who's in here all day for you know she gets up in the morning and I let them out of the kitchen and she comes in or she has a breakfast and then she comes straight up here so come sort of lunchtime she's woken herself up enough to hear the sound of my voice and she thinks it's really good fun to come and launch herself onto my desk she sneezed glitter uh, glitter embossing powder the other day she sneezed it across my desk I was embossing quite happily and I was in the mid pouring it into the catch-all piece of paper on my desk and she jumped off the desk took one sniff and sneezed the whole lot everywhere there is a picture on Instagram <laughs> and there's also it's, I put the same picture into my Facebook group Poodle's craft form go find it okay so I've taken the tape off all of that and I'm going to wrap it round and start creating the bottom of the box and then I'm going to do the same on the lid. So I've got lots of things planned. And yeah, there's lots of different things happening in my um, YouTube world. So for the last four months, you have seen me produce five videos a week. And that's kind of going to come to an end with the end of Poodle's Advent Count. And I'm going to go back to the three a week that I've always done for the six years I've been a demonstrator. So I've always historically done three a week and for four months I upped it to five. I'm taking it back down to four to three. You will still get a blog post seven days a week. I've always done that, never changed that. Um, and that's not going to change anytime soon. But yeah, it's um, Poodle's Advent Countdown seems the perfect time to come to an end with five a week and go back to four. But <laughs> My teenage sons have come up with some ideas, which I think you are all going to love. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm either brave or stupid, I'm not really sure. Who trusts a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old? Apparently I do. Okay. Oh, hang on. I need to get my jingly bells on. This will wake Barry up now. So I've got three of the bells, um, and they come in these three colours, of the green, the red, and the gold. And I've already prepped them because I always forget. And seriously, she will come running over shortly. My bow's going to be upside down, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good job it's a square box and it doesn't really matter which way around it goes. Okay. Trim off the end, trim off this end. Okay, so now all I'm going to finish with is, of course, my much beloved tartan and Christmas tree, which is there. You can see, look at the colour of it. And I'm also going to pull out Ho Ho Ho. I think of this one will do. And have I got any Whisper White Hand? I have. Ooh, shall I go with the green? Yeah, I'm going to stay with the green as a tree. So shaded spruce. Onto there, and then I'm going to take a hoe. Oh, no, I'm going to do that one in red. Luscious cherry cobbler. is the oh I want to say classic label but I don't actually think it's called that this punch with the pointy ends <laughs> I can't remember the name of it sack the demonstrator okay <laughs> right let's grab some dimensionals oh one there and one there 
you hear the wind across my other, it's the window that's behind me. And then I want the edge of this. And those, I think, are super cute. I'm a bit mad to do that. I will wake a kitten. But aren't they lovely? Oh, and I like the autofocus on this camera. <gasps> it's brilliant. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to see you very soon. Bye.